Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, when you get what you want, but it wasn't what you thought. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, go, uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We on- Great to have you guys here in the podcast. Thank you so much. I'm honored. I'm grateful. I feel blessed that you're part of my world. If you're watching this on YouTube, mash that subscribe button, hit the like button, share this with someone on any other channel or station. Please share the message. Take a screenshot, let me know you're listening and tag me. I appreciate it. You know, I'm 47 years young. This has been a theme on my mind lately over the last couple months since I turned 47. And like it, it hits you in a different way. I got a son who's a junior in high school. I've got an eighth grader, a sixth grader. I'm looking at my life right now. I'm looking at my business, my, my businesses, my people, my team, direction. And it just like, it causes you <laughs> to just stop and be like, wow. Life's moving. I remember when I was 20, 30, or even early 40s. It seemed like I had a long time ahead of me. And so at this age, right, we, we talk a lot about goals and purpose and achieving results and people get up and right, we, we get moving. Whether it's the gym, the job, the workout, the family, pickleball, church meetings, a funeral, like there's just so many things to do with your life. This one today is special to me, why? Because what happens when you set goals and you have a vision board and you have affirmations, and you talk and you work hard and you grind and you climb the top of this mountain. Like you get to the top and this is what you said you wanted and you paid a price for it. And all of a sudden you get there and it's not what you want. Like You're like, what? Has that ever happened to you before where you worked so hard to get someplace or to, to accomplish something only to get to the place where it was like, this isn't what I want. And that's what I'm talking about today. You see, if that for some reason happens to you, where you get somewhere, or you make some type of money, or you get the job, or the promotion, or the house, or the car, and you thought it was gonna give you something, but it doesn't, I've got three things to help you, right? Simple three things, because these three things come from experience, because I've been there. I've been there. One example is I get paid to speak on stages. Someone writes me a check. 30, 40, or 50 grand. Those are checks that I have received to go speak for an hour. And it was amazing. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing it. Like, this is amazing. This is what I always wanted. And then I get done and I'm like, okay, like, that's it. It's not what I thought. It is not what I thought it was going to be. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love to speak on stages and I've got a big 7,000 person stage coming up. And then we build our own stages. So I get that. I've also had the $200,000 car, at the same time had the $100,000 Range Rover, at the same time had the $80,000 Escalade truck. Had all three cars in the garage. If you were to open the garage, you would smell brand new. You would think you were in a car dealership. There's a, a number of other things. So let me share with you what happens when you get there. Number one, express gratitude for the journey. Don't do what most people do. Don't get mad. Don't blame the car, the money, the vacation, the fitness. Don't blame the job or the whatever thing you got, but it didn't give you what you wanted. Don't go to victim mode. You'll be tempted to do that. Just express gratitude. Just again, I'm a praying kind of guy. So I get on my knees at night or if I'm driving, I just say, Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to be here. See, it's like climbing a mountain top. You, you climb the mountain, think it's going to give you something. It doesn't, but don't, don't get mad. Just say, man, thank you for this view. Thank you for the experiences. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for the development of skills. Thank you for who I have become. First step, gratitude. Second step, I want you to question, like, what was it that you thought you were going to get? And you got to question it so you can learn the lesson, so you can pivot when I went for the car, I, I got this $200,000 S65 AMG through another 15 grand of what's called a Rentec inside of there. Then I got my Escalade truck. I was, I was living in Utah at the time. I bought a truck in Vegas. The, the guys put the strut grill, six grand. These 24 Sony rims on there, low pros, put in screens. So I dropped another like 35 grand on this truck. And I had these cars. And I remember sitting in my house in Provo, Utah, and I was just like, dang. Okay, so I spent money on these cars. Now what? And I started to question and I just said like, what did I think was on the other side of having these? I discovered what I thought it was. I thought it would 
helped me to feel like the man. I thought having these expensive rides would help me be the man. And in fact, it didn't. Payment on the, the bands was like 3,300 bucks a month. I was paying like 10 grand a month, 10, 12 grand a month for cars. It was crazy. But at the time, again, I had to learn the lesson. So I thought, man, I thought having the cars would make me the man. And the, the fact was, whether or not I have the car, I am the man. Like I can't depend on an external force to give me power inside. So that was a great lesson for me then. I think about even the stage example. I thought it would give me this, like I got a check, okay, and then I speak for an hour and, and here's the fact, I just wanted to change someone's life. That's what I really wanted. Now having the money as proof of validation or proof of concept that I'm valuable in the marketplace, okay, great. But there's an actual, actually a better way to, to get paid. And I'll discuss that on another podcast, but I, I'd rather take less of a fee and invite people, uh, give me five minutes to talk about what I do. And then when I do that, I can walk, like walk out of the room with a quarter mil to a half mil in sales on the back end. Another conversation though. So again, first thing, just to be grateful. Like don't devalue the hard work, the development, the climb, the sacrifice, the sweat, like everything it took to get there. Number two, just question your assumption. I thought it was gonna give me this and it didn't. So then you have to look at it and say, okay, I question the assumption. It didn't give me what I wanted. And then step three is just principle four in our 13 principles, which is clarity's power. Just go back and say, what do I really want? I was working with one of our clients and she's opened up a, like a micro learning center. You know, I've talked about her in one of the podcasts. She's out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And, and I asked her, I said, how many, you know, what do you want? What, do you, what are you trying to build and create? Again, this question of clarity. And most people struggle because they don't have clarity. So she's like, I want 500 centers across the country. I'm like, well, why do you want that? And she started naming all these reasons why, which sounds good. And I said, what, what are you hoping that it gives you? You know, what do you think it wants? And again, uh, what, what do you think you want from it? Like, let's say we you get 500 centers or I get paid to speak on a stage or I have these expensive cars, therefore then what? What does that mean? And when we drilled down deep enough on this client's situation, it's like, I just, I wanna help kids and I wanna have a great lifestyle for my kids. I'm like, you probably don't need 500 centers to do that. It's great to think big and I'm not saying we can't. And Clarity just became like, hey, we need five centers. If we have five centers as a prototype, as the proof of concept and proven model, we can go get more. But again, it goes back to what do you want for your lifestyle? You know, if you're a man and you think, oh, I want this hot woman, well, why? Is this so you have a trophy wife? I mean, is, the, is it gonna give you that? Or you wanna have a six pack abs? Again, nothing wrong with having a hot wife. I, I, my wife is gorgeous, but I know why I want what I want with my marriage. And I know why I want what I want with the muscle and with an office and with the team. So. Again, express gratitude for the journey. I'm so grateful for who I have become in the journey. I've also questioned, and it really puts me in a place of, is this really what I want? I thought it would give me this. And again, people oftentimes get this twisted, right? They, they make a lot of money, money doesn't give them what they want, so they think it's money. It's not money. And we got the Maui, you know, with the Maui things going on right now, I just donated five grand to one thing. We sent another couple, like me and my wife, we give, we give till it hurts. Like living is giving, giving is living. Like it's not about money's not good because in order to help Maui, you know what they need? They need you to write a check. That's the truth. As much as people are like, hey, we'll pray for you. Prayer is amazing. And I love prayer. I love praying for people. At the same time, don't blame the money. That's what I'm saying on this, right? We, we sometimes get things twisted. Like it's the money's fault or the car's fault or the business's fault, it's not. So this is why I'm telling you step number two after you uh, express appreciation, question the assumptions, what you thought. And then number three, just get clear about what you really want. Get really clear and then, then you know, as you get clear, go back to number two and question your belief system around it. Maybe it could give you what you want. Maybe it is what you want, but now you're just not seeing it. Life's too short to not get what you want. Life is too short to live a mediocre, desperate life. Life is too short to get, learn the wrong lesson and see the wrong things. I appreciate you listening. If this has been helpful, please share this with somebody who needs to hear it. Share this on, take a screenshot, tag me on social. 
and have the most amazing day. Let's go, Game Changers. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 uh -huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, help you get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win. Yeah. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.